Okay, so I'm going to show you the grounds at Cool Runnings and Senga Bay. So obviously this is the the entrance. Which is always padlock during the mornings and the evening air, uh, evening times. So we have all different types of accommodation over there. That's where you get all your washing done. This is pretty cool down here, this is where you have a gym. The kayaks and other water sports. This is the gym area. See me on the camera. <laughs> Most of the time when you see me filming from the car or taking pictures from the car, this is the this is the vehicle which was donated to Cool Runnings. So that's where you have your breakfast, lunch and your dinner. One thing about Kooring as well is the green grass. It's nice, you can walk barefoot. And obviously there's the uh, there's the lake. But we'll get to that in a minute. So this is the reception area. So this is where you can get pick up Wi-Fi. Um, when it's working obviously in Malawi things can go wrong and the internet does drop off now and then but when it's working you can keep in touch with uh, anyone around the world which is a plus I'll show you what type of activities you can do here and the prices are all in US There's toilets there. It's basic, but it's everything that you need. Take you down to the front. So there's the bad news boat for water sports or going up to Lizard Island where you can find, well, basically where the Red Empress are found. Lovely lounges and then that little place there is where they do all the 
um, carvings and stuff like that and I'll show you that in a little bit. So this is what the view you get at Cool Runnings. So down there is all your fishermen. And out there that is Lizard Island, that's where the Red Empress are. So the lakes ran about 30, 40 meters from, from where I'm standing, so you can literally just run down there and get straight in. So clean. This area is normally um, off limits for the locals. There's not many, there's not much rubbish or anything here, which is, uh, which is great. Around about there, that's where Red Zebra is, Red Zebra Tours. So I'll take you up to where we've been staying. You might see some of the guys that work here, like Felix and Henry. Really polite. Abundance of birds and lizards and all sorts here. <laughs> that's Henry. And that's Felix. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just showing everyone. Yeah. Back home, people like <laughs> my view is. Yeah, see, romantic candlelight dinners here. <laughs> <laughs> can I show them the menu, guys, so they can sort of mm -hmm. see what's on? <laughs> Full English. That's the most important thing on the menu, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Got really nice seating areas here. Still a bit windy today, but on this side it is um, picks up most of the wind. There's Dave on Facebook. and Larry. <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee in the morning. In our caffeine. Here's the bar. All the number plates, all the smiley faces from around the world. Now the owner's son, uh, she's really into F1. People leave stuff here all the time. So drinks wise... Um, you can have your, your Carlsberg, that's... There, they are 500 co local um, Kowacha, Malawian Kowacha, which works out to just over a dollar, US dollar um, for a drink, then you've got Fanta, water, they're about 250 kowacha each, really cheap. 
And then you've got the spirits and stuff. You don't really drink here much because you don't want to miss anything with a bad hangover. <laughs> Take you around. You can see all the plumbing. Right from the lake. I mean, look at that. You sat at the bar, and there's the lake. Accommodation here is uh, really well priced as well. Um, I'll show you the accommodation in a minute where me and Dave Hale are staying in and we call it the house. Uh, obviously you can camp here, you can you stay in like a, a dorm that's shared and the prices go down um, from staying in a house all the way down to camping so it's very very inexpensive for a view like this. Take you into where we're staying. What? That's one. It's in a known pair. It doesn't mean it has to be wild. Go look. Go look on simply this. Look at that one. That's one. We're staying in Tanzania. I think I haven't had anything with that view. Bizarre. At the moment, <laughs> like Malawi, uh, there's no electric. It's gone. And it should be back on pretty soon. So this is where we're staying. So Dave's staying over this side. Um, beds are comfy, nice pillows, nice uh, airflow, so it's not too hot. You've got a fan as well. If things get a bit warm at the night when the wind dies down, sink, brushing your teeth, etc. And we have our own bathroom as well, which is just opposite. Oh, so we've got all our stuff everywhere. My recording equipment, all the scuba diving gears all underneath the bed. Mosquito nets. This is, this is what you need, you don't need any more, you don't need any less, you don't need a TV in your room. Because the TV's just out near the bar looking out to the lake. Like as we've been getting up around about half past five, six o'clock most mornings trying to catch the sunset just behind Lizard Island and it's not unlike any other sunset you're probably going to see in the world, it's unbelievable and the bathroom's in there as well, I don't know, maybe I should show you Showers get really hot as well. That's the main thing. Nice and warm. Or if it's too hot outside, just have a cold shower. There you go, so that's a tour of Cool Runnings. That was different. I like that. 